Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're here, I'm here. It's usually time to rip, but today we're going to do some different. We're going to share some autographed cards. These are all in-person autographs that I just got back from my first ever trip to the National in Chicago. Um, I actually went for the autograph pavilion. What I enjoy collecting the most, what I consider my personal collection, is in-person autographs and I was fortunate for a lot of years to be able to go to some different ballparks and games, get some uh, cards autographed, and that gets a lot harder now. So I thought if I was going to, you know, increase my, my collection, going out to the National and going to the Autograph Pavilion would be the best way to do it, and it was. I've got a stack here of 31 autographs uh, that I'll kind of run through. They cover all sports, hockey, basketball, football, and baseball. So the, the, the four big ones there. Um, I bought the the uh, the Super VIP pass. I think it came with uh, uh, 20 autographs. That was what it was. Uh, those were all named autographs. Uh, some of them I, I didn't collect. I, I I primarily do. In fact, I really only do baseball cards. So, but I, I bought a few cards too. I thought it would be fun to get signed. Uh, and then I bought a few extra autographs for a few players I wanted. There there were more players there than than I was able to get to. <laughs> and, uh, expense, you know, kind of setting a budget for yourself. Uh, so maybe I'll have to try it again, but it was it was nuts. There was uh, the lines were long. I thought with the super VIP pass, I'd be able to cut in front of the lines and kind of that. That's not the case. You're actually at the low end of the totem pole. So I stood in line for five days in the autograph really in long lines. It was insane. So here we're going to get to it. We won't take too long. I have left them in the top loaders and that. So hopefully that's uh, that's okay. Uh, might give a little bit of glare. I don't know if you'll see the autographs very much, but I'm going to start off with a couple of the hockey ones that they did. So the first one was uh, from Murray Bannerman uh, from the Chicago, uh, the Blackhawks. It's Chicago, obviously. Being in Chicago, they had a few players there. Uh, the next one was Marcel Dion, which I do believe, I think he played for the Blackhawks. Again, I'm, I'm not a hockey guy, uh, but I had a Rangers card of him is what I picked up on eBay. Just looking at a few and condition and that, that kind of looked the best op option. So that's what I picked up there. And those were the only two hockey guys that showed up, or that were on the list anyway, as far as that you could uh, get with the named uh, uh, tickets that came with part of your pass and that. Next up is Chicago Bulls, Bob Love. And he was one of the more popular and one of the longer lines I stood in. This one uh, I picked up on eBay again before. It was only a couple of bucks, uh, but, but I got it before uh, you know the show. Uh, what was this? Uh, I thought it was just a great looking card. Looks like a 72, 73 tops, I think is what that is. And uh, I don't know, the, the font and then the card, the old style look and that. I thought it was pretty cool. So even though I'm not a big basketball fan and don't really collect basketball cards, that was that was fun to get. Next one here is uh, for Bill Wennington. He was he was quite nice, uh, and I picked a collector's choice from Upper Deck. It was one of the better cards. Again, another eBay pickup before the show uh, to go out and get that autograph in there. And then a th final basketball one, another bowl, obviously from Chicago, is uh, B.J. Armstrong picking up. You kind of see the auto and that coming across there. So that was a what a 90, 91 tops. Um, no, let's see, sorry, 94, it would have been 94, yeah, 94, 95, Skybox, not Tops, Skybox card. So that was one of the better looking cards I saw as a option. Actually, some of these, and I don't remember exactly, but quite a few of the cards I had to pick up, I, I went through Com C uh, and bought a bunch of the cards that I that I didn't have and wanted. Had them, you know, sent in one shipment, then I picked up a few off of eBay that I didn't have. Uh, the next one for football, these so far have all been ones that came with the pass in here, is uh, Chicago Bears' Jim Morrissey on a upper deck. So it looks he put his number on that on there, so that was nice, good looking card. Next we have, from the Bears, Doug Plank. Uh, sign it, look, he didn't want to cover his face up, I don't think, and, and uh, put his name up there. So that's a... Uh, that's a top, so it'd be a 77 top, so kind of a fun card, good uh, 
good older look to it. I, I, I liked it. It was in really good shape. I, I think this was an eBay pickup uh, for sure. Pick it up here. Then this has to be one of my favorite ones that I picked up. Uh, I know this one came off of eBay. I didn't find it on Com C. Bobby Douglas was a quarterback for the Bears. He was very popular at the show. Had a big line. You see, he took a lot of effort with his autograph and that. Didn't want to cover up anything. He signed. I was watching him sign pretty much every card in that exact same spot in that. This was a 71 tops. And uh, I saw quite a few people in line with them. And the ones I saw, I felt like I ended up with one of the best condition that. This was in really good shape. It was a good, lucky eBay pickup for there. And then uh, Mark Carrier. It's the last football card. Uh, so all of those were named, and I got as part of the passes and that in there. Uh, so the rest are baseball. These these will be considered the core of the ones. Some of them came with the pass. A few of them I purchased. The ones I purchased, almost all of them, but a couple in it were Braves one. And starting with, you know, this year's Hall of Famer, Fred McGriff. And there's what we're signing. This is one I had to purchase separately. I don't remember the exact cost. I think it was maybe $80, $90. So more than what you would uh, get one out of a pack. But again, uh, got to gotta say hello. Got to meet Fred, you know, even so ever so briefly and get an in-person autograph for him. And obviously I went and picked cards uh, that you could get uh, that had a Braves uniform on because that's my team. So I could have went with uh, some of his rookies and that. He actually doesn't sign some of his except for uh, some of his older cards, and I, I didn't ex say why on there. So some of his, I think it was the Donruss rookies and that. Um, some of the guys do charge extra for them, but his wasn't where it was extra for the rookie card. Uh, maybe he does it for charity or something, but he wasn't signing it at the show. But I wanted one of this Braves form uniform anyway. <laughs> Next up was uh, uh, this guy. Either, I think he either played for the Cubs or the White Sox. I can't remember Heisel, but I, I picked him up in the Phillies card, so this was a pickup. Uh, Larry Heisel, this is, uh, this is what is 1970 tops, and I, I picked it for two reasons. One, for some of these older cards, I think I pulled it on Com C, but uh, it was one of the nicer looking cards as far as condition, but I thought it would be cool to have the Rookie Cup logo on the card with the autograph. I, I really, really like this card and this autograph. It turned out fantastic. Uh, then we got Scott Spezio. And he, he was, it was, I guess, his first time at the show uh, signing. He was really nice. Uh, had a great, I don't know if you can see it in there, very, uh, just a fantastic autograph that showed on there. I uh, went through a few uh, cards. I actually think I had to pick this one up. I didn't have it. Uh, not a big Spezio collector in that. And I, I couldn't decide. He had some athletics cards. I think he played for the Cardinals as well. I think he won a World Series for the Angels and the Cardinals. And this is just the one. That I felt was uh, was a ninety. I'm sorry, an 03 tops. That uh, that I wanted to. Uh, I thought was the best looking one, so that's why I picked that one. Then uh, Paul Popovich, who played for the Cubs, I ended up with two autographs of him. He was a named one. You get one ticket for it, but I, I traded uh, another another card. Or no, I actually bought one. Somebody was selling tickets in line for like five dollars, and I had taken both of these cards of Popovich. And I couldn't figure out which one I wanted signed. I actually wanted, uh, this is, I think, so what, 70? It's the 73 tops signed. I thought that was a cool looking card. But this, the Paul Popovich one, I think was one of his first cards, but I don't think it was his rookie. So this is the 68 tops. Um, one Dodgers, one Cubs. So picking up that extra ticket for an extra five bucks was, was uh, fun so I could get them both signed. Most of these guys, I only took one card out for Pick the ones I wanted, and that's that's what I took to the show. All right, um, this one was actually a uh, one of the items I, I paid extra for Goose Cossage, and you might wonder why I did it on eighty-eight tops. And the the reason is, first of all, I actually really like eighty-eight tops, one of my favorite sets. Um, but I picked it because I've I've taken this to spring trainings as card before before he retired when I was quite young, very young. Uh, to get autographed and never had and I thought oh that'll be fun I, I'm gonna go grab the cards I mean I've had this card for a while and he did a great autograph 
had to pay for his, I think it was only 69, I think is what Gooses were. That's why I kind of added him, you know, to the list of the ones I wanted to hit. Hall of Famer. It's very nice. This was a, next one here is a, let's just say 85 tops in, uh, it's 85, right? Yeah, 85. Uh, with the Cubs, so that was a named one, so you get it as part of the package. There weren't, uh, honestly, a lot of great cards of Trout uh, that I had had. Or, and I actually went down to a local card shop and bought this one because some of mine were actually in worse condition. They, they've just really faded over the years. It's 85, but um, I like 83, 84, 85 tops are some of my favorites. So I went with 85 on his Steve Trout. Another one I had to pay extra for um, was Raleigh Fingers, uh, and I wanted him on an athletics card, and this was the uh, 76. That's what I picked up. So I ordered this one on eBay as well before the show. This is one of the better looking ones I felt. There was he had some earlier ones of Raleigh. His rookie card had three people on it. I think it was 68 or 60. What was his? Uh, it would have been, I think, the 69. It could have been the uh, 70 season. That was his first rookie card, but there were three on it. And I, I wanted the solo card. This is one I like the best. You know, the little picture down here in the left-hand corner. I, I like this design. That looked great. Surprised me about him. His, his autograph was $29 uh, as extra to pick that up. So for Hall of Famer in person, I do that every day. Uh, next we got Jim Gantner. And he I think he played for the Cubs a little bit. Uh, I was... I looked at a couple. I was going to go in 88 or there was this 91 tops. I ended up with the 91. I, I kind of liked the look in that. He did a good job with the signature on there. That was one that came with a, a named one with the with your pass that he picked up. Same here with Bob Dernier. He had kind of a small autograph in here. Put him on the 84 tops. With, or no, sorry, that's 85 again. 85 tops again with the with the Cubs in here. So that was included with the pass. Uh, next Brave Up is actually Dave Justice was there signing. And so I had to uh, pick up and pay for this one extra. You can, you can see the autograph in here. Dave was, was really nice. Um, in fact, he kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I might have made, made a little bit of a fool of myself in that. I, I have his rookie. He's got a, an earlier traded card in that. But, you know, back then they, they didn't do, um, this is the, uh, what, 91 tops. They didn't do the rookie card logo in that. So it's a second year card. And I think his rookie was a traded card. Uh, and I have that as well. But I, I liked it with the this the 91 tops, but also the rookie cups. Why I ended up picking this one. Plus, I, I think it's a good picture of him. A lot of people don't know that, but Dave came up as an outfielder first base or, and played a lot of first base. And when he saw this, I mean, I think he was being just just really nice to me. He says, oh, I don't see this card a lot. And he says, uh, he says this is kind of rare as far as I've seen it. And the card itself isn't rare. I think you mean the photo uh, of the card is rare because he came up with first base. And he pointed out, he says, a lot of people don't notice, but I'm actually wearing a first baseman's glove in this card. And he says, it's the only one that I've got the first baseman's glove on. So he was he was really nice. Spent some extra time chatting Um uh, I, I really enjoyed it, it and then I remember him coming up as a first baseman, but um, I, I honestly never had noticed that that's the first baseman's glove <laughs> in the card, and, and, uh, but it was, he was a lot of fun. All right, then uh, next one, this was an extra one they paid for as well. Uh, another Hall of Famer, not a Braves fan, just, just iconic. I mean, how can you not go with Wade Boggs? Um, I thought about, uh, I, I don't actually have his rookie. Um, but I had an 83 tops, and it's one of my more favorite designs. So I took the, the 83 tops to get signed for Boggs. He might have been one. There's some few players there that, that it's quite a bit extra from the sign, their rookie card, um, uh, sometimes a couple hundred dollars. An interesting story, uh, I, I didn't buy one, uh, but I was hearing it from the, the show. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was there. He signed for two days. Most of the guys show up for one day for a couple hours. Um, to get his rookie card signed, you had to pay a penny, which gave you your ticket and your spot in line. But then they, they had one of his employees that would assign a grade to it, you know, 1 through 10. Obviously, that's not going to be a PSA grade or that. But depending on what they assigned to it, you then you, you then had to pay uh, on the low end $750. On the high end, I think they said it was up to eight grand to get him to sign his rookie card. So that's kind of crazy. All right, next one is, is another one that I actually picked up an extra ticket for, too. Um, 
I'll, I'll, uh, we, is how I think you say it. And, and, and then I got him a ticket and I had taken one card of his, which was this one. And I picked this because of the all-star, uh, rookie cup on it. This is the 64 tops. And again, I thought having the rookie cup logo on that was here. So I grabbed that one and then I bought one at the show. It's actually the same guy selling the tickets, had a bucket of car had not a bucket, but a big box of cards. He's been very smart. Buy an extra ticket for five dollars, buy a card for five dollars, and, and I saw this one, I thought it would look cool, so I picked up a second of Al Weiss and that in there. And that one is the the uh, 66 tops. Uh, so very, very fun. It's gonna look good. All of these eventually I'll get into some one touches and display um, you know in the, the home office and that. Uh, next one here was Andrew Jones. I grew up a big Andrew Jones fan. I uh, love watching him play in that. Um, I picked uh, this one is the 98 tops. Um, yeah. Uh, 98. Uh, I picked this one with the you know it was the gold border. And then also the rookie rookie cup, but I thought it was one of his better cards. So it had some of his uh, technically his rookie cards, but I actually didn't like him as much. So I picked that one to have the autograph on. Then uh, Gary Sheffield, and again he was only with the Braves for a couple of years, uh, but remember and watched him very well. So I picked up a, a Braves card of him. I actually had this one. I believe so that's an 03 tops. Um, he did a great job on the autograph. I'm not sure if it was me or him. It wasn't from in the sleeves. It was dry. I, th I think he accidentally did it after he signed it. You could see it kind of smudged there a little bit. And and I've always been a big fan and I always use Sharpies a lot on the, uh, the card autos because I, I know there can be some problems with some streaking. And I'll show you another one. But I feel like the autos pop a little bit better that the Sharpie pops. But after that one happened, and some of the ones you've seen on here, I started moving and, and had them sign in with a Statler pen, um, which does look prettier, but it's not quite as thick or bold in that in there. So still, it's I don't need it graded um, because they're, they're for mine, so it's okay. But uh, And I, I still appreciate all that much. But I, I did walk away from the table, and I noticed that, and I thought, oh, dang. All right, then well, let me save well, I'll do Murphy right now. You can see I, I still did him with the uh, uh, the Sharpie on there. I think it pops, but some people uh, like the, the Statler a little better. Um, so this is the uh, uh, 78, 79 tops. I wish I should have taken a few cards of his. I think next time I'll finish this, but in my in my Murphy collection, I, I have I've collected his. Uh, uh, base tops cards in a Braves uniform. So that's 78 through 90 and just the, the base tops. I mean, he has so many cards in a, in a PSA holder. They're, they're all like, uh, some of the older ones, like the 77, I think is the lowest I've got is in a, like a seven through a nine. Uh, it, and then eventually I'd like to go back and get him in tens, but, uh, some of those, especially the 77 to 78 are extremely expensive and very rare in the 10. Um, but that's kind of what I collected, and then obviously I collected, uh, I've been working on the uh, getting the, the same ones autographed in there, and I've got a few, and I have 77 and 78 autographed, and I have a, a few out of the 80s, so I'm a little over halfway done, I took one more to get, I think next time I'll, I'll probably just focus on Murphy and get the rest of those Topps cards autographed from him, but uh, I went with the 79 this time, so there's the Murph in the background there. Next one here was uh, Jeff Blum. This one actually, Murph, Murph's one I had to pay for. Blum was part of the package. And I don't know if you kind of see that. They, they had a gold ink pen. It wasn't a paint pen, but I can't remember what kind of mark was it. And I thought it would look pretty cool on this card. This commemorates his uh, World Series home run um, in, uh, what was it, Game 3. Let's see. Whoops, kind of dropped that there. I can't remember. Yeah, the... Game three of the World Series in 2005, they or they beat the Astros. I think the Astros actually ended up winning that one, didn't they? I can't remember now. I thought the gold would look really well, but uh, didn't quite turn out as poppy as I wanted it to. Didn't pop, but you can still look so nice autograph. All right, another one that I've been working on kind of for years. I've, I've taken this to a lot of different ballparks when Chipper was playing. 
some other events and that never gotten it signed and it's this exact card i've had this for a while so taking it in and out of stuff it's it's not in perfect condition anymore um but i've, I've been trying to get autographed and again this is just for me this was another one they had him use the sharpie and you can see it streaked a little bit um, he still has a fantastic autograph with the Chipper Jones and the 10 down in there. Um, this was, I guess, considered his rookie card because it was his draft card. Um, I guess it was probably the closest thing we had to Bowman first back in in uh, 91 uh, tops and that in there. So I, I was very happy to finally get this one uh, with an autograph in person. A couple more quick here is uh, uh, Eric Soderholm. And this was the, uh, what is this, the 77 tops. Um, I was going to avoid this one because I, I try not to get the autographs if they have a fax, uh, the facsimile autographs on there. But of what I could pick up um, before the show and what I liked in the condition, that still turned out to be the best one that I had of Eric. I, I think I pulled it from Com C before the show. All right, I didn't have this card in that, but uh, it still turned out pretty good. The next two was uh, Ron Kittle. Um, got his. This is the 83 traded on tops, which I would consider as rookie. His rookie cards really consider the 84 tops, but by today's standards, this is 83 tops traded, and I'm a big fan of that. And he did win the rookie of the year in in, 80, in 84, wasn't it? Rookie of the year um, uh, in the American League. And this is the 85. This was the third one that I picked up an extra ticket. I was I was pretty sure I was going to have him sign this one. I actually had this one with me because I still had decided between it, the show, and then I picked up a ticket from the guy selling them in line. So it was, I think, an extra $5 again, uh, but I already had the card for this one. Uh, Kittle in it. Oh, wait, no. This one, uh, I didn't buy the ticket. I'd had the two cards because I hadn't decided. Uh, Ron, and it, it states it in the guide. You'd know going in, he does not sign his 84 Tops rookie card. Um, at the shows because he when he signs those he does events and he donates the money to a charity I asked him about it and he said it's a Ron Kittle charity but it's for cancer research and he donates to cancer hospitals and like children's cancer things so I thought that was pretty cool but a guy had brought his 84 and he wouldn't sign it um, and it, it wasn't the rules I, I get it um, and the guy just gave me his ticket so I ended up with the getting both of them signed by Ron then the final card was Jody Davis. Um, he played, I think, just the one year for the Braves. No, uh, one and a half. I, I don't think he played in 90 when this came out. Um, he was there because he was a Chicago guy. Obviously, a Braves fan. I wanted it on a Braves card, so I picked it up. Um, I actually think that might have made him mad. He wasn't. He, he didn't seem too, too interested in signing this card. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, so that's that's kind of fun to have had that out there. Uh, I meant to stick some of my my favorite Braves ones up front, but I had forgotten as we got going into here. I already had the stand set out, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I had a uh, a long, exhausting standing on concrete, but fun and worthwhile time at the National. I met a lot of great people there, and that. Not sure if I'm going to do it again, even though it's as you can see with this giant stack here. It was the best way to get some in-person autographs um, for not too much because most of these, like I said, came with the price of the pass. So um, anyway, that's uh, what I had for you today. Hopefully you'll join me next time. It's been a while since I've ripped some cards. I've got a ton of chrome sitting around that I haven't even gotten to yet, so I'll probably share those on some videos. And I'll see you next time. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please give me some comments below, and please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.